Hi YouTube. As you know, this is me, Zobby. Uh, this is my other channel, actually. This is actually my Google Plus account channel. This will be my vlogs of my everyday life. Um, today, I just want to get off some steam, because I, I have no one to talk to. I literally have no one to talk to. Well, maybe one person, but... I don't think you'll get what I'm thinking. Basically, I can't trust anyone. Um, about four or three months ago, three to four months ago, actually. Um, something very huge happened, and it happened too fast, and kind of split up my, uh, quote unquote, big family. Friends. Um, certain things happen to me without um, explanation. Uh, people began to um, befriend me on Facebook for, with no explanation why. Uh, there was no efforts to contact me or anything. I, I didn't make any efforts to contact them to uh, respect their wishes. But I'm still trying to figure out what, why they deleted me. Because I thought we were very good friends. I really thought we were really good friends, and I don't know what happened. Maybe because I didn't choose sides? But then I, I didn't want to choose sides. Maybe because I was in power, and they got kind of pissed off at me. I don't know what I did. Uh, what I did to offend them or anything, and then most of the time my hands are tied. I really don't have much influence. If you didn't know that, um, and and I after that big thing, which I'm not going to detail into, um. Everybody just completely stopped talking to me. And then no one really invited me anywhere. And I, I know they go places with people. I would really love to meet new people. But guess I'm not just that popular enough or cool enough to be invited to places. I feel betrayed. Somewhat. I feel betrayed. But at the same time, I can see where they're coming from. Yeah, I'm not a gamer, but I'm still a cosplayer. With dreams, hopes. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Really. I I really I just really wished I could keep talking to them or at least get invited to places that you know like we I used to I remember I remember like at least twice, like twice in the whole month, we would go places, have fun. I would get invited to to go hang out. I loved it. Can't tell you how much I loved getting out of this house. You know, escaping my troubles, my worries. You know, to create that illusion for myself. But I guess I'm back to where I used to be. Before college. Back into a cage. 
part of me wishes that that big thing that happened in my group never happened because then then I wouldn't be what I, I call social limbo social limbo where no one talks to you or no one invites you to places you want to go out with people to cool places but no one wants to go and the place you love the most your friends don't really like to go to that place or can't afford it by the way the place I love to go is Disneyland and I have absolutely nobody to go with me I usually have to go by myself and try to enjoy myself there which I do which I kinda I'm sorry my friend who has to hear this but I kinda bury myself with, in um sweets and you know the delicious bread twist in the new fantasy fair and I kinda just take drinks sugary drinks just and ride the haunted mansion a few times just to you know feel happy this is the only place I feel happy in the world I know this 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 video is kind of a mess but I'm a mess too so <laughs> I might not be pretty or handsome or a gamer but it still hurts not to be talking to you even though I see countless Facebook statuses about amazing adventures that I sometimes I wish I was a part of I don't care if I'm a bystander or side character in the story but mark my words maybe one day I'll be a main character maybe not until then I'll be waiting for my prince to come to save me That's another thing that's been troubling me. Finding true love. I thought I had it for a moment. For almost a year. And... It kind of broke my heart. And I miss him very, very much. He was the only one that kind of accepted me and I kept, I don't know, well, he did warn me, but, my stupid heart, I don't to listen, I don't think I can find someone like him anymore. I've done a lot of things to try to bring back that feeling try to fill in that hole there's a very big hole in my heart that's making me feel all depressed and sad every waking moment since 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 the that big thing. I, I don't want to say much details because it's just it's just too much drama involved with that event. And I don't want people to get. <laughs> I don't want people to come to me and and say why did you post a video about it, describing every single detail. I don't I don't like doing that. I'm not that kind of person.
The reason why I have these new friends is not the ones where I missed the ones in high school. I'm like poorly, I guess. My new internet friends, which became my really close friends for a really long time, for about the span of two years. I opened up to them, told them the biggest secret in my life. <laughs> I get thrown away <laughs> like I was nothing to them. That's the way I feel. <laughs> and then I find love to distract me. <laughs> My first true love. the first guy I ever actually loved and actually liked me back and knew my secret of course I kind of don't want to do that but whatever I don't think anyone can understand the pain I'm in. So many pressures that I'm in. Even though I am the person in the background who doesn't say a word, only listens. I have my opinions. I have my feelings. I don't like try to hide things from people but at the same time I don't like telling things about myself to people I'll tell them if they ask me but depends on the how big the secret is to me I just wish my high school friends were here because they actually understand that side of the story of me and kind of get it more than more than my new friends, my cosplay friends, who I actually really love to death. <laughs> because you guys were actually there were there for me <laughs> and all my my cool very cool and awesome friends or girls I just want to say you're all the greatest I just wish you guys were right here with me <laughs> No, I go I go to school and there's people around me, but it's not the same. I have no friends at school. I go to class with me every day and study with me. <laughs> Once I do, I just I can't.
can't really trust her to be there all the time, and I don't feel like babysitting. <laughs> Like me, so I'm a secretary either. But I really wish I had friends. <laughs> right now, my life is meaningless. That's <laughs> why I'm so occupied with stuff. <laughs> to fill up the void. <laughs> I feel so alone. I post on Facebook to reach out. I try and try and try again, but I guess you guys can't take my hints of how alone I am. How dark my thoughts are getting. Sometimes I believe I'm becoming like the evil queen. If you have a two months upon a time, you wouldn't get that. I feel like I'm becoming like the evil queen. But, what would you guys know? Since you guys are not here. Since you guys are not talking to me. I know I don't play League. But I can't play that game anymore. It just brings... It just brings us apart. I got that game. I installed it just to have fun with you guys. All you guys could do is just criticize me. You know how much that hurt and frustrated me. There was too many people telling me what to do. Different ways of playing. Tell me, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Then another person says, no, don't do that, you gotta do this. You know how frustrating that is? And once I play my own style, you guys all yelled at me. Because I try to actually incorporate everybody's input on how I should play and try to put it together somehow. But I guess, I guess it was a bad idea. I guess. I guess I should have just not played at all sometimes. Even though it's a, it, it is a fun game to play. Don't get me wrong, it is fun. But I just can't handle all the stress that comes with it. And all the yelling. And just making myself feel very disappointed in myself. Which makes me very depressed because. I can't please you. I can't. I just simply you can't. I just can't please you to have fun winning your stuff. But even though I we lose, I still have fun with you guys. But all you guys want to win, win, win. I don't like that. I guess talking it out 
all of these feelings that I've actually been bottling up quite some time now has actually calmed me down and if you are still here watching and listening to my stupidity and if you're one of my friends and after watching all this if you don't want to be my friend anymore it's fine but if you just delete me off of Facebook I'm gonna wonder why I'm gonna guess that you never liked me or that you think that I am a bitch or a or if, or I might just think you're homophobic and that really hurts me if you don't say anything I think you know we could just work it out and uh, you know be good on good terms and it's fine if you don't talk to me ever again but I just feel very betrayed if you just do that and very hurt so I'll be seeing my acquaintance all my acquaintances at uh, all the conventions leading up and this is my first video thank you for watching it I know it's chock full of feelings but this is going to be my video diaries of pretty much almost every day I'll be releasing these if you have any questions or anything please don't hesitate to ask down below all I can say is making a video does help because it does make me feel like I'm actually talking to someone and doesn't make me so scared anymore and so stressed and sad and depressed but I know I'm still gonna feel lonely but I'm gonna try to feel better for myself but it doesn't shake off that feeling of me being lonely at school and all those places So thank you for listening to me. Um, thank you.